of a matrix to explain the bracha. Wants to explain a tremendous yisod in people that the mechuyev yisurim, people that the mechuyev yisurim, that they should be able to get the most lenient yisurim possible. <coughs> and he says, there's three yisaitis in Klai Yisrael. There's one yisaitis in Klai Yisrael, Isha Mashu, that building that's worth a millions of dollars. If you want to make a Kenyan on it, all you have to give is a pruta. So we see that the pruta to our Kodesh Baruch Hu is equivalent as millions of dollars. We also find it in Isura. If a mashu falls into the Mina, according to Yehuda, or if a mashu falls into Hamids, or it falls into other Isurim, it passes the whole thing. Because the mashu is not just a mashu. The marshal has the equivalency to a Kashbaku and great things. Like it says in the Pasik, Villas Minasari in this book. A does not accept amounts. Even the smallest little thing could be a Kashbaku, like the biggest little thing. So therefore, when it says Ayake Abram is Yitzchak. Abram tied up Yitzchak and he put him under his bear. What is Ayake? Ayake is Midas Hachesed. And Yitzchak is Midas Hadin. And Abram wanted to tie up the Midas Hadin and there should be a Midas Hachesed. So if a person does Shuva, but still, if he's a baby, I'm a him, Yisurim. You don't have to give him the same Yisurim that he did. For example, somebody was writing another Jew, and he was writing so much till he gave him a heart attack. Now, when he wants to do Shuva, does HaKadosh Baruch require that he should have a heart attack back? No. Because just like by Mominus, a Mashu, a Pruta, could be like the most biggest amount. Or by Isurim, even though a Mashu falls in there, it's good enough to make it like a whole thing from in there. So this is the first Yisar. The first Yisar is that HaKash Baruch Hu, even with a Pruta, even with a Mashuhu, will call that Yisurim. Like the Mark brings down, what's called Yisurim? The person thinks he put the money in his left pocket and he found out that he put his money into his right pocket, that's also called Yisurim. So this is the first he said. By Yaakov, Avram is Yitzchak. He was, he tied the Midas Haddin and he made it Rachamim so you could have even a Mashu Yusurim could be also be like he got a whole lot of Yusurim. That's number one. Number two, we find another thing in Dina Mominus. And according to Rabbeinu Tam, this was the biggest Kenyan in Mominus. What's that called? Chlipin. Like it's brought down by Rus. That it was the custom in those days by Sholaf Ish's Nalloy. He would take his shoe and he would give it as a chlipin. So what's the difference between chlipin and Mormon? By moment he gets a little bit of money. 
But by sleeping, he doesn't get anything. The fact that he gives him the shoe, he's kind of the object. Like we find that Boaz said that I will not take root unless there'll be a Kenyan that he wants to be going to suffer. The Shalom fish is now. But if there won't be a Kenyan, there won't be any clipping. And also we find that, that uh, Abraham Avinu, he saw Bayaz, Bayaz Ayo Nechas Pasma. He saw that the ram was caught in the horn, in the thorns. So Bayake as Ayo Memokim Yitzchak. Instead of Yitzchak, he brought the carbon of the Ayo. Now what Shavius? Could this ayah have towards Yitzchak? Nothing. Yitzchak was a Sadegomu. The ayah, how much could it be worth already? So this is the second Yisod in Yisurim. If a person can't be soybled the mashu, because I call Yisbaruch Hu, a mashu could be who knows what. But still there's another Yisod. What's the Yisod? The Yisod is that chlipping. The fact that you machlit, this is considered like. So we hear to a kosh sometimes. If he sees that this person can't even take a mashi, you saw. So he gives him chlipping. Chlipping. But the only time we have such a thing of uh, exchange, that's only by kabonis. For instance, when a person brings a carbon, he could say that this carbon should be instead of me. But without any sacrifice, he can't say that. And this is the Yisot Hashlishi from the Soya Lanzosa. The question is, the Ramban explains, how could we bring a carbon Lanzosa? Who's Lanzosa? This is Samoya. This is the, the tomb itself, the korban. So how could we bring a carbon? Hashem said, being a sawyer and throwing down the cliff. So the man explains, Marshall, this is an example, that a king said to a servant, I have this person there, I'm making a party, Give him this suda, it's like you gave it to me. So this is the Bimokim carbon. This is the Bimokim carbon with the soya latzazel. And even though we are bringing the soya as a carbon, but it's not our carbon. It's Hashem that said, bring these two goats and one make a Hatas and one make la zoze. One make la zoze, and if it's, I received it. So when the cloud is sends down the soya la zoze, this is in the time of the carbon. And not only that, all the sufferings that the soya la zoze went through, it is also in Cheshbin of the person that many times a person does business deals, he fails many times, he does things and he got hurt many times, he got a lot of back from snappish. So Hashem is willing to take all these things and bring it into the carbon that the person is bringing and with this he should be able to get a kapora with, with chesed. This is a kapora with chesed with the sort of mashu. And if it's not mashu, it's even chlipin. And it's also called mishas karvin because they're bringing the soil like zazel. And with this is the midas of chesed from HaKadosh Baruch That even the person is mechuyim, you surrender with the tshuva. 
These are the Yisunim Hashem wants to count in. That even your suffering was for Dvorim the Caleb. It wasn't for me. I'm willing to accept it as if you got these Yisunim. 